Take him away. Hello loyal and hardy fans, welcome back to your favorite channel. As you all know, I always try to bring for you the never before seen films. So today we will be watching very rare scene film of Laurel and Hardy, Bonnie Scotland, which was released in 1935. If you want to watch the full movie, the link is in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get started. After running from a jail where they had two more weeks to serve, they traveled to Scotland where Laurel is successor to his grandfather's fortune. Could you tell us where we could find a policeman? <laughs> You'll have to pardon my friend, officer. He's a stranger here. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you could direct us to the best hotel in your fair city. Right over there, sir. Thank you. We'd like for you to give us a room and a bath, please. I can give you the room, but you'll have to take the bath yourself. Come on. When they go to take what does belong to Laurel, they only get a set of bagpipes and a snuff container. When Hardy tries to demonstrate how to use a snuff box, he falls off the bridge. There's no hurry, you'll get what's coming to you. <laughs> I'm Mr. Hardy. This is my friend, Mr. McLaurel. I believe we're expected. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, step right in, sir. Please follow me. Thank you. Right this way, sir. Yes, sir. And now, uh, Mr. McLaurel, I'd uh, like to see your credentials. Very good. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my mistake. That's the one. Is that she my well, left? Uh, it's proof enough. Like father, like son. Last but not least, this snuff box. Is this all we get? That's all, sir. And I wish you a very pleasant voyage back to America. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. All the way from America on a cattle boat for this, Mr. McLaurel. Oliver orders Stan to dry his clothes and Stanley comes up with a great idea, as a result of which Hardy's pants become shrink. Mr. McLaurel. Mm. Mind your own business. You know what we could do? We could go way, way out west, where they'd never find us.
step aside. Mr. Hardy. I haven't seen him in the past three weeks. Oh, he's awful sick. As they don't have money to pay rent or even eat food, Loyal trades their overcoats for a fish, which they fry over a candle. Uh, uh, uh. Who's there? It's me. Come in. Did you get me any pants? No, but I got something to eat. What? Where'd you get it? I traded our overcoats for it. Now give me the fish. When the landlord comes to take the rent, Oliver pretends to be sick, but after about three weeks without any rent, she throws them out. Oh! Oh! What's going on here? Mr. Hardy just had a relapse. A relapse? Double oh. sick. To get a new suit, they accidentally goes to the wrong floor and joins the Scottish Regiment of British Army, from where they travel to India on a very dangerous mission. Isn't that swell? Well, that's wonderful. Uh, what can I do for you? Why, we read your advertisement and we've come to accept your offer. Yeah, we'd like to get measured right away. Aye. Then, if you'll just sign your name to the bottom of that. Sir. What's this for? That's to bind the bargain. You're now in His Majesty's service. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Have the medical officer thump them over and then take them to the barracks. Ah, uh, you come along with me. After what I've gone through, nothing matters. A strong pause, can't say. Much stronger than I expected. This calls for strategy. Do that again. Hey, come here! 
I thought I told you to clean this place out. Well, he told me not to pay any attention to what you said. Don't. Here is a very famous dance scene of the film. <laughs> in my life. All you've got to do is to get on his back. Come on. What are you trying to do? Well, he told me I had to get on your back. He means the horse. What are you walking like that for? Well, the horse didn't fit me. Well, straighten up. You're going to meet royalty. Good. Very good. Remove the food. What's the idea? The time for pleasure is done. At last, they somehow manage to save their lives and run away. Take those. What are these for? You are to use those to blow your brains out. Oh, I never blew my brains out before. Take them away. Remove the body. What happened? I missed myself. Seize the man. One more step and I'll sh shoot. <laughs> Don't point that at me. Thank <laughs> you.